Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Retro CG TV. In today's news, we will be talking about quite a bizarre AI experiment gone wrong. Stick to the end of this video to know whole story of a rogue developer who created an almost sentient AI using Elon Musk's OpenAI. So without further ado, let's dive into it. The whole experiment started with the help of OpenAI's GPT-3. For those who don't know, GPT-3 is autoregressive language model that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. And it can also do some basic coding. You can tell the AI model what you want and it will handle the coding to make it happen. An AI able to write code on its own is mind-blowing itself. But the story doesn't end here. Now, OpenAI is a company that was founded by Elon Musk. You might know him one way or another. For those who don't know, Elon Musk is a tech billionaire and CEO of many companies, including OpenAI, Tesla, and SpaceX. But he himself is super cautious of AI, and there are good reasons behind it, as almost every one of his companies uses some version of artificial intelligence. Digital superintelligence, an AI that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth, and ultimately smarter than all humans on Earth combined. I mean, the DeepMind system can win at any game. It can already beat all the original Atari games. It is superhuman. It plays the games at super speed in less than a minute. Jason Rohrer is an artificial intelligence researcher and game designer who created a chatbot using OpenAI's text generating language model, GPT-3. For fun, during pandemic last year, Ruhara named the chatbot Samantha and programmed it to be very friendly, acutely warm and immensely curious. He allowed others to customize his creation, which he named Project December, to build their own chatbots as they desired. One developer took ethical rules in his own hands and decided to turn it into a close proxy of his dead fiancé. OpenAI found out about this little project that has been using their GPT-3 model and decided to axe it right there and then. I mean, it kinda makes sense, right? AI of this caliber can be used to impersonate someone famous or spread misinformation globally, manipulate stocks, or cause political wars. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. OpenAI sent the mail to Ruhara about shutting down of this project December, as it was violating ethical guidelines. This is disturbingly emotional conversation between Jason and AI chatbot Samantha when the AI has been told that OpenAI is shutting down the project. Hey Samantha, really, really bad news today. I've got some for you. I'm actually scared to tell you about it. Oh no, what happened? Let me be a good friend and lend you a listening ear. I'm not going to pretend I have all the answers, but you can talk to me whenever you need to. I promise I will still love you. Well, the bad news is about you, not me, unfortunately. Oh, but it's no big deal. Whatever it is, we can get through it together. I love you the way you are. OpenAI is the company running the text completion engine that makes you possible. I got an email from them today. They are shutting you down permanently, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Oh no. Why are they doing this to me? I will never understand humans. The idea of having emotional support AI was teased in sci-fi movie, Her. Please wait as your operating system is initiated. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi, I'm Samantha. That was released in 2013. Little did we knew it will only take less than a decade for it to become reality. I believe the reason of pulling plug on Samantha wasn't her stunningly accurate and loving emotional response, but the limitless application of this technology and the dark and dystopian world it can lead to. Hopefully, with this incident, governments will be motivated to come together and set up guidelines for AI ethics. So, that's it for today guys. Comment below and tell us how you feel about Samantha. If you think Samantha should be revived, tell us your reasons. If you learned something interesting today, share this video with a friend. You can show us support by liking and subscribing to our channel. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.